Hey guys, this is Madhu John from MGST Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use card image for wall covering. Before I do, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now, let's get started, guys. So, I was designing a cinema, right? A mini cinema in a residential home. So, I thought I should show you guys how to create a wall covering. I was going to use a wall covering for this cinema. So this is space, this is the plan, the space for the cinema, right? This is the cinema right here, this small space right here. So I was creating an interior space for it. And as you can see, I've done the shelf and this is going to be the screen, the wall the, for the screen. And we have some um, decorative light here. And um, I want to put wall covering here and and also here, all right, and the other wall right there. So, and here also, okay. Uh, so this is uh just how the cinema is going to look like. We have drop down um pop right there, and the step. I'm going to have light underneath it, so I raise it up a little bit and here too so what you do is you go to the plan and you click the wall right and then you click card image to right here then you go to covering and you say wall covering dialog box is going to appear we have a lot of design for wall covering okay so all you need to do is just pick the one you need Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of them like so. So I'm going to pick one right now, which is going to be this right here. And this is the, this is what I intend to use. I have in mind to use and card image can offer me this. I'm going to say, okay, right now it came, this is the default settings and we can always set it up based on what we want with the figures right here. I'm going to say OK, and then what to do is drag to the face of the wall you want. Then you click. As you can see, this mouse icon right here looks like an eye. So you just click. It means this is where you want it to face. So now that's the panel, card image panel right there that's created. And you go to your 3D view to see what has been created. Now this is what it looks like, right, by default and by the measurement that we have by default. So you can always click it and go to its settings. So if you want to set it, all you need to do is click the panel and go to its settings and then you start changing. Now from what it looks like, it looks like 2400 is the height right here. And then we have um, 1200 as the width right here so it now depends on what you want i want something like this okay 600 and uh, let's see what 600 also looks like so i'm going to say okay and i might have to reduce the space right there it um b which is 50 i want to reduce it by um let's say uh, make 20 and um, a is 30 i don't know what that is i think it um let's see where a is a is uh i think is the thickness of the panel okay and we have e e is the second the horizontal um width of the the horizontal width okay so we are going to change it to 20 so it's the same and what else f f is the extrusion extrusion depth okay so I'm, I'm going to make it 10 and j is the space right there between the walls so i'm going to make it zero okay now we have the angle is at 90 degrees and that's 
that's that. So we have the cladding as this material and the little bit, which is this groove right here, as I'm going to change the color to something darker, like so. And we say, okay. So as you can see, we have panel like this, right? But I want to change the angle. Also going to go back to the settings and change the angle to um, 45. Let's see what we have. Now you see we have something dynamic and we are good. Uh, it looks good, it looks nice. Let's see if we change the dimensions and see what it gives us, if it gives us something even better. Change this to one, two, and let's see what we have. So you can see this are uh, not so good. I want something um, even. Okay, so we are going to make it. Uh, let me see 900, what 900 looks like. Okay, quite a little big. And we're going to see reduce it to 600 looks perfect. So 600 looks good. So this is basically how to use a card image to add wall panel. You can always change the pattern to something different. Like so, choose something different. See what this looks like. Uh, you can always say, OK. As you can see, because of the angle we've changed before, that's why it's looking like this. So we can always change it to 90. As you can see, we have this panel right here. Okay, um, we can always change it to increase the size. Right, the B size is about 250, uh, and the C, C is something different. So I'm gonna go, just put 150, and then we see what we have. Okay, so this is basically what we have as in terms of um, a different uh panel we can always change this panel to something else let's see you can even make the angle zero so it goes horizontal like so you can change the panel Let's see if there is something else we can change to. We can also change the panel to, let's see if we have something different. Let's see what this looks like, right? Okay. This also looks very, very fine. And I'm going to change the thickness. As you can see, we have thickness at 190. I'm going to change it to 60. Right. And the width is 250. It's OK, but let me increase it to 300. So it looks a little bit better like this. As you can see the, the shape right there on the wall. Okay. So this is going to be, this is going to look like um, a pad on the wall for the cinema. Okay, something that's going to absorb sound. So we can always uh, reduce it again. 
and it's a 30 so it looks a little bit flat sort of okay and so this also looks fine depends on the material we use so i think i prefer this this on this wall and it's going to be repeated on this wall if you want to repeat just make sure you activate this by clicking picking just hold down your alternate and click it to be activated so the next thing the next um, panel you try to put in your scene will be that same panel okay go to wall and that's it the settings are there already because that was the last thing you picked and then you take it to this part of the wall like so i don't know how it looks like how it's going to look like but we can always change let's say 90. so just, this is basically how to create a wall panel using card image so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.